something just comes along that you weren't really looking for at that time, but it found you. And this is one of those cases, a dream car, top five car on my list, shows up, and the funny thing is, is I saved it and I tried to find it again. I couldn't find it on any of my searches. Luckily, I saved it. Uh, we're talking about a 1969 Pontiac GTO, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the one that brought back the muscle car era. This one's actually really unique. We'll go over that in a little more detail once we pop the hood, but just, just kind of take a look at it. We still got the uh, Pontiac Motor Division wheels, uh, Rally 2s. Uh, we got all the badging, beautiful mirror paint. Like if you can see, like I can probably talk to you like this and you'll be able to see me. Uh, it's, it's just something about it. Uh, Pontiac GTOs are something that grabs attention wherever you go. I personally never thought I would own a Pontiac GTO. Uh, a deal came along, just too good to pass up, and it happened to be only about six hours away. Uh, this car, I mean, come around over here. We'll just kind of start talking about it. One of the things I'm not sure if I'm happy that I don't have or sad I don't have are hideaway headlights. This does not have those. Um, it's something you can definitely add, but uh, there's something about this front end. Uh, just look at that. Just grabs attention. Um, the hood scoops. Oh, the hood scoops. Oh my, that's uh, that's got GTO written all over it. And if we come over to this side here, it's kind of a, a Pontiac exclusive. I know a few other cars have done it. Hood mounted tack. Uh, just something else. When I took this thing on the test drive, it was like, man, just watching that thing rev up. The hood mounted tack is just something you just, you don't see in every car. Like I said, there's a few cars that, that have had it other than Pontiac, but that was really a Pontiac signature, which is awesome. And as you can kind of see there from the angle, you'll get these, uh, these scoops as you're driving too. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a very cool hood as it comes out this way. Uh, let's have you back up and take a look at this interior. Uh, I've got a mat down because I, I don't have floor mats, but uh, beautiful, beautiful white interior. GTO badge on the door. The GM badge over here is actually pretty cool too. Uh, you've got the white seats. They're going to need to be cleaned up a little bit. I haven't touched this car other than a little bit on the uh, fuel injection, which we'll get into in a minute as well. Pontiac steering wheel. Uh, it is an automatic. That's probably the one thing I do wish is it was a four-speed manual. But man, when a car comes along at a price like this, you don't, you don't, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, you can see what's hanging down here is another part of the fuel injection. That's not normally there, and it can come out. We do have all the seat belts. White interior is beautiful, just beautiful. Most have a black. I'm a fan of the white. All the trim on this car is just in pristine shape. I know there's a few fingerprints, smudge, smudge marks on it, but overall, I mean, watch this. Door shut solid. Uh, you've got the beautiful wheels. These will probably go away. Um, I'm not going to sell them, I'll keep them, but I'm thinking about a new set of wheels, kind of a little meatier, beefier stance. Uh, let me grab the keys here. Oh. Let's take, take a peek at the trunk. Alright, just take a look in there, it's very clean. No rust on this car. Uh, we do have a spare tire, uh, it's, got, it's kind of the same color as the motor there. It's a pretty car. Lights have been gone through, wiring's been gone through, still has the sticker back here on how to use your jack. Just a uh, just a beautiful car. Let's go ahead and get up under the hood. All right, so you take a look in those scoops. This is what it's feeding. It's not your average Pontiac 400. Uh, a few cars came with the 428. A lot were installed at the dealer. Uh, your 400 is long gone on this, but this is a... Uh, 428 which is just uh, more power baby <laughs> as that one guy says more power baby uh, this is just a beautiful rebuilt motor we've got a little bit of leak coming out of the valve cover brakes work good batteries over here I need to check the coolant before i go too far your msd atomic efi not my first choice for efi by the way uh, is over there uh, fuel pressure regulator and then underneath here is your uh uh, fuel injection throttle body overall just such a beautiful clean car. I can't wait to take you guys on the first ride uh, It's gonna be I don't know Sometimes you just gotta just tell yourself you're pretty freaking lucky and uh, the ability and timing of this car just worked out um, 
There's sometimes you just are, you, you look at Instagram or whatever you're looking at and you see these cars and you drool a little bit like maybe one day, maybe one day. That day finally happened for me and I am so excited to have this car. I can't wait to take you for a ride. All I've taken it on is a test drive. It was probably a uh, 10, 10 mile test drive. Wasn't very far. Um, I liked it. There's a little hesitation because I, I really think fuel injection is going to need some more adjustment and it's still learning so uh, I cannot wait to take you guys along for a ride this car is is something else and when we took it around I mean it's it's his car when we test drove it I hadn't bought it yet honks thumbs up I mean people go bananas for a GTO it's it's something special uh, don't get me wrong Chevelles Camaros Mustangs they're all really cool Challengers Chargers all that's really cool but there's one car that just to me has always been like, man, if I get that car, I've hit it. I've made it. That's the GTO. 69 in particular. I do have a sweet spot for the, uh, the little older ones with the stacked headlights. Uh, maybe if I had two GTOs, I'd want to go that route. But 69 has always topped my list. And when I found one with a factory installed 428, uh, it just screamed rare to me more power it's, and it just it goes like this one's really happy to kick down a gear and uh, I can't wait till the fuel injection system learns a little more about what it's doing with this motor and can give me the smooth ride that I think it can do so with that I really hope you'll subscribe we've got a lot of things coming for this car next video should be a first drive uh, I'll take you guys along uh, unedited uncut we'll just take you along I don't know how much of that I'll, I'll take you along for uh, it may be a shorter video, but I just wanted to show you guys this car because I've been I've been mentioning it in a couple other videos, and on the live stream I mentioned it. So here she is. Let me close this hood. Beautiful car. I mean, I really hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you're excited as I am to take you along for that first ride. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again, everybody.